Hi, my name is James. I'm going to be talking about why mass deportation is bad. So, first of all, I my first point is that mass deportation is morally wrong. Just off the fact that there have been people that made it here undocumented and they raised families over the amount of time that they were here and a mass deportation, like people coming into their house, pulling families apart, pretty much ruining their children's lives and sending them on whichever way. Because the children, more than likely, are American-born, so they're going to send them wherever else in America. An example that I read was from USA Today. A man from Guatemala was deported about a few days after Christmas. He had lived in America for about 20 years, and he raised five children. He worked on uh, pools, like swimming pools outside the houses for over a decade. The reason why he was deported because he was accused of forging a check 15 years prior. And while the argument he had was irrelevant to it, he had to be snatched away from his family. And then they made him buy his own plane ticket for about $320 back to Guatemala because they ruled that it was... It was safe for him to return, which he shouldn't have done it. Any they shouldn't have made him do that anyway because he had a family. You know, it was pretty much just pulling the family apart, and and he's just one of thousands, hundreds of thousands of immigrants who are getting deported annually. And I read another report saying that. Mass deportation will have a price tag of about $200 billion to deport an estimated 10.8 million undocumented immigrants over a five-year plan. And it will cost taxpayers at least another $17 billion annually to maintain that at the border and inside the country by de deporting uh, illegal immigrants. And it would cost about eighty-five billion dollars over a five over that five-year period, which will make it out to be way more than two hundred eighty-five billion dollars. And while illegal immigration can be a problem, there's more issues, more important issues in the country than just that. I mean. As a country that's in trillions of dollars in debt, we could spend that $285 billion on something else.